What's up, guys? Thanks for checking out another episode of Kenny's Record Collection. Uh, this episode is going to be all about the weirdest copy of Led Zeppelin 3 that I've ever seen. Uh, but before we get to that one, I just want to tell you a funny story about this weekend. Uh, I do a lot of running around, as you guys know. I go to a lot of garage sales, estate sales, anywhere, thrift stores looking for records. Uh, so I'm on a particular site that I use that advertises garage sales and I'm laying in bed Saturday morning. It was early. It was like seven o'clock. My wife wasn't up yet. I was just getting up. I was just, you know, scrolling through this website and I see a particular yard sale. They posted pictures of records. They had crates of records. And then I see this beautifully laid out photo of a lot of really great albums and they were all laid out flat next to each other, all neatly. And I see some records in there that are very desirable. Uh, the first David Bowie album, the one on Duram Records. Uh, it's very hard to get a first pressing. I see that in there. I also see a copy of Marquee Moon by Television, uh, which I already have, but having another copy of that wouldn't hurt. So I jump out of bed. I'm like, I gotta get there. It says it starts at nine. So I get my clothes on, I run out the door, I drive all the way there, and it was far away. It was in Mineola, Long Island, which is, it's about a 25 minute ride from where I live. So I get there, I see a crate of records, I start flipping through. I'm like, all right, these are some cool classic rock records. I grabbed a few, you know, I see some stuff that's kind of cool. I, I start making a little stack. I'm like, where are these, you know, really good records? Where's the Marquee Moon? You know, where's the David Bowie? I'm looking around. I see another crate of records. I say to the lady, you know, you got some good stuff here, but, you know, where was that uh, television record? She's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have that actual record. I like to make crafts out of album covers. And this is what she had with Marky Moon. It's a coaster. The woman had a special calendar. It was called like one album a day. And in that calendar, it had all these great albums. <laughs> so just for size comparison, this is my copy of Marky Moon. Look at this. So, I just figured I'd share that story with you. It's pretty funny. But hey, this is a really cool coaster anyway. I'm glad I got it. And the David Bowie one was already sold out when I got there. But this is my real copy of Marquee Moon. It's actually a, a promo copy. And this album, if, if you don't have it, get it. If you've never heard of it, it's probably on YouTube. Definitely listen to it. So, funny story. This is what happens when you get crazy running around looking for records. <laughs> so now to the Led Zeppelin 3. I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos found me through my original Led Zeppelin uh, Bob Ludwig uh, hot mix video that I made a couple months ago. Um, you know, I'm a Led Zeppelin fan. I'm not the hugest fan, but if I see an interesting Led Zeppelin record, I'll, I'll definitely pick it up. Uh, so this was like two years ago, another garage sale story. I, I'm driving my car, I see a garage sale, I pull over. I asked the lady who was running it, I said, oh, uh, do you have any records? She's like, well, we don't have any out here right now, but I have some in the basement, follow me. So I'm a complete stranger. She says, oh, come into the house. I go walking in the house with her. She brings me all the way down in the basement. I'm like, well, what am I gonna get whacked? You know what I mean? I'm down here in this basement. Nobody knows where I am, come down there. She goes, oh yeah, over here in the boiler room. I'm like, okay, that's not a really good place to keep records, but all right. So they had one crate of records on the floor. It was, you know, typical classic rock stuff that you'll see, a lot of garage sales. You know, there was, uh, I don't know, name a band, they, they were in there. You know, there was Fleetwood Mac, there was, I think, some ACDC, uh, you know, different stuff from the 70s and 80s. So... I come to this and I'm like, all right, that's Led Zeppelin three, but look at this thing. I'm like, what's the story? 
It's a flat sleeve. It doesn't have a spine. It's very cheaply made. It doesn't have the spinning wheel on the inside. When this was actually copied or however they made it, they just set it where all the band members' faces were lined up in the holes. And that's what they did. Now, it's a very thin sleeve. Now the record itself is blue vinyl. And if you look closely at the label, Led Zeppelin is spelled completely wrong. It's Led Z-E-E-P-E-I-N. So it says Led z -peen 3. And then the song titles, I'm sure there are some mistakes. Now you're probably saying, oh, Kenny, that's just a bootleg. That's a cheaply made bootleg, whatever. So I, I look at it a little more. I look at the Matrix and the matrix numbers are almost exactly the same as the real release. And it also has the inscription in script that says, do what thou wilt, which is an Aleister Crowley quote, which is really cool. Most copies of Led Zeppelin three do have that. And then the other side, there's another quote. What does it say? I'm trying to read it. I never have my glasses. But anyway, if, if you're a Led Zeppelin collector, you know what these matrix numbers are. So I match them with my, my legit copy of Led Zeppelin 3. And even the writing is almost exactly the same. So if you take a real copy of Led Zeppelin 3 and you line these things up, where all of the scratches are, there it's exactly in the same spots in the matrix. So, I mean, I don't know how to bootleg a record or to, you know, do anything like that, but they, they had to have the original stampers or, or mothers or however it is. I'm no expert with how a record's pressed, but I'm assuming that somehow this is like an official pressing of the record, but it's just not sanctioned by the actual company. You know what I mean? It's, it's done with the actual real record. Um, so if anybody out there knows anything about this, the furthest I could get with it, I, I found somebody online who was selling one years back and I think they had some kind of description about it that it was some kind of like Middle Eastern pressing could have been maybe for I don't know soldiers American soldiers that were over there back in the you know early 70s and there were a lot of companies that did press up crazy bootlegs to satisfy the um, the actual soldiers that were stationed in different areas they couldn't import different records I have another interesting thing over here. I wasn't planning on showing this, but it kind of goes with the whole idea. Uh, this is a cassette copy of uh, Black Sabbath Volume 4, right? And if you look at it, you're like, all right, that looks almost normal, you know, but it says Super Edition. And then if you look on the side, it says sabbath black so that's a little ridiculous right there and then the actual track listing isn't all songs from volume four they they took stuff from like side b it's it's got wicked world it's got um there's just a couple songs on here that aren't supposed to be on it which is which is funny so you know And this company, whoever they were, made a lot of other um, band stuff.
So, I don't know. It's kind of funny. Look at that. So, that wraps it up. If anybody knows anything about this copy of Led Zeppelin 3, please, let me know. I, I want to know more about it because it's... It's just really bizarre, and you know, I, I love the, all the strange little nuances with records. So that's basically it. That's my story. So yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, there's a million different versions of Led, Led Zeppelin 3, so this is just one of the many. So if you know anything at all about it, let me know. If you have any weird copies of Led Zeppelin 3, let me know. I love talking about this stuff. So if you can, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, uh, subscribe. I think I'm almost at 200. So if you can get me over 200 subscribers, that would be amazing. So have a great day, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.